Okay, let's start with those outraged residents who packed McLean Senior High School on Wednesday nights. They're opposed to a teen rehab center that would house some uh, young people in three homes across the street from the school. Fairfax County is looking into whether this is even legal. Our Peggy Fox was the first to bring us this story. More than 600 people packed into the McLean High School Auditorium to hear from Jameson Monroe, the CEO of Newport Academy, a high-priced teen rehab treatment company. It purchased these three adjacent homes on a private drive across from the high school. They're being turned into Newport Academies with dormitories for eight residents each. Putting a three-house business in the middle of a neighborhood did not require a zoning change because Monroe designated them as group homes for people with disabilities. They're protected under the Fair Housing and the American Disabilities Acts, but angry neighbors say they shouldn't be. And this is business profit, business profit. Don't even try to pretend you're in any way. Ain't profit. Victoria Mecklin has a disabled child and says she understands the need for group homes, but not these. Classifying under the ADA, the American Disabilities Act, that substance abuse and recovery and everything, yes, it falls under disability, but none of these are actually residents. Residency is meaning you live here. Her argument is that Newport Academy tenants are temporary, and she thinks the federal protections should be for permanent residents. Fairfax County Supervisor John Faust, who represents McLean, says the county is looking into the fine print to see if Newport Academy is a group home or something else that needs a zoning change. The three homes sold from July to November for a total of about $9 million. The real estate agent who sold two of them insists he had no idea a treatment center was coming. And after the home sold, the secrecy continued with non-disclosure agreements. Group homes don't require that level of discretion. <clears throat> what, what were you hiding from? I do not know why we have Indians. <laughs> Monroe tells WUSA 9 that he doesn't know the details of the purchases because his company hired a local real estate firm to handle the transactions. He says Newport Academy follows all local, state, and federal laws, including laws designed to protect individuals who need help. But some residents want their lawmakers to weigh in. If you support this, raise your hands. <laughs> In McLean, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. Newport Academy CEO had hoped for a different outcome. A statement reads in part, the spirit of the law was to prevent concentrated, not in my backyard efforts as we are witnessing here and allow this protected class to be able to receive necessary services outside of an institution. Of course, we're going to stay on this story until we have an outcome.